hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm tash and as you can tell by the title of this video this is my boob job vlog also this is murphy <laughs> hey buddy um so basically tomorrow i'm getting a boob job i'm so excited it has been a crazy wild ride so i'll give you guys the details now so basically today is the 24th of july and it was actually meant to be today my boob job but i'm currently in my fifth lockdown in melbourne and the hospital pulled my surgery two days beforehand i was absolutely devastated um but then yesterday uh, so then on two days ago when they pulled it um, they said that I could get it done on Thursday the following week, pending things are okay. And then yesterday I found out that another hospital was willing to do it on Sunday, so I'd only have to wait an extra day. So I'm doing it at the other hospital. It is more expensive to do it there, but at least I kind of have the peace of mind that it's done and it's not going to get rescheduled again. And also I feel like I can mentally prepare for it now, like when I... When it's like, oh, it will probably be on Thursday if nothing changes, then I feel like emotionally I wasn't able to prepare myself for such a big thing to happen because I didn't want to excite myself in case it got pulled again. And now I just feel so happy and so relaxed. And yeah, I can't believe it's tomorrow. I'll take you through my whole process so far. So basically um, in May, I think the beginning of May, uh, my husband and I were like, yeah, we're in a position to finally do this. Like, let's just do it. Uh, so I called up and um, booked my consult. I only had the one consult with the one surgeon and I had to wait like six or eight weeks just for the consult, um, which ended up also then being in a lockdown. So it had to happen all through Zoom. But my surgeon is Dr. Edmund Eck from Your Breast in Melbourne, from the Melbourne Institute of Plastic Surgery. And he is amazing. I already just feel so good knowing that I'm having it with him. He knows what he's doing. He's incredibly honest and um, very realistic and he just knows what he's doing. Like all the, the questions that I think maybe I want to know a little bit about, he can give me a thesis on it, which is insane and I'm so comfortable. Um, so basically we had our consult and he predicted the sizes. And then I saw him face to face just to like try on the bra and confirm and he was spot on. So we're going to get 400 cc maybe, and maybe a bit bigger in um, like 425 ish in one of my boobs because apparently they're smaller. I've never noticed. Um, but he also like knows the look that I want to go for. So he said if he goes t in tomorrow and puts the 400 cc in and it doesn't look the way I want it to look, he's just going to put in a different one. So I was like, yeah, I trust you. Um, I mean, he obviously knows what he's doing. He's been doing, he's very, very like everyone loves his work. I've heard no bad things about him. And, um, I'd much prefer give him the permission to make some adjustments on the table for me to get my result that I want rather than to wake up. He sticks to the plan, but it doesn't look the way that I thought it was going to look and then be disappointed. So yeah, that's it. That's what we're going for. 400 CC. Um, and yeah. All right. So it's the night before my surgery and I'm just about to go to bed. Um, every night before bed for like past three or four weeks, I've been putting vitamin E lotion on my breasts to try and prepare them in case of any um, stretch marks. I have no idea if that's gonna work or not. Also, please excuse how dirty this bottle is. It's like one of those things where we're like, oh, we need to get vitamin E cream. And then we're like, mm, have this old one. So it's dirty. And then also if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that I'm obsessed with this like hypnosis, lol Justin Bieber, on um, this hypnosis playlist where, um, Pretty much it just helps you sleep. I listen to while I sleep and they've got them for different things. So tonight I'm just going to listen to this preparation for surgery hypnosis, which I'm excited about. Um, I have not really any fear of doctors, but I just feel like it'll be good to get me into the subconscious mindset. It's the day of my surgery. Um, it's like 6 a.m. 6, 17 actually now. Um, my admission time is not until 1, but I need to fast after 8, so I've gotten up and I'm gonna go get a coffee. I have to get a Macca's coffee because the one across the road from me doesn't open until 8 and then come home and make some breakfast. Also as you probably have noticed I'm wearing these glasses which are a vibe. I usually wear contacts but I'm not sure how the movement on my arms is gonna be after surgery to put contacts in and I have to wear glasses to the surgery like I can't wear contacts in. 
So I bought these specifically for this surgery. They were just like 40 bucks from Specsavers. So um, yeah, they're cute. We love that. They're the ins and outs that you don't think about until it's time. So yeah, awesome. Let's get a coffee. But are you really having plastic surgery if you don't make a TikTok about it? It goes on and on and on. All right, I'm just gonna go get my coffee through the drive through Where's my mask? Hold on. I swear I left it on my lap so that this would not happen. Oh, there it is. I ordered a caramel latte with almond milk because I had a deal on the app, so that's super exciting. Um, I'm still not feeling nervous at all though, except I did have a pretty bad sleep after like 4 a.m. So it was just, I, I'm not sure if I'm nervous about the surgery or about COVID though, because we are still in lockdown and I just kept having nightmares about waking up and having been to an exposure site and like not knowing if I should like still go to the surgery and just pretend like I didn't know, which I would never do, but that's what I was doing in my dream. So it was so stressful and I just kept waking up and then checking the exposure sites, going back to sleep, waking up, checking the exposure sites. Other than that, I feel really chill. It's coffee time! They gave me the wrong coffee, but I'm so grateful that I have one at all um, and that I didn't have to make an instant. Oh, it actually tastes really nice. So it's still an almond milk cap caramel latte, they said, even though I said iced, but that's fine. Uh, because it's actually really like soothing for my soul right now. Um, and also I usually get like an iced long black. So like the plainest of plain coffees. So it's nice to have a little bit of spice to celebrate before my surgery. Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm just making my pie look so silly. Also, I was quickly telling you now as well. So I had all intentions of like going and getting my hair braided to like keep it out of my face. Um, I couldn't have done that now anyway because of lockdown. However, um, my hairdresser told me that it's actually the worst thing that you can do for your hair because the anesthetic makes your hair really weak for like three days afterward. So um, by pulling it really tight, um, it'll break your hair. So I've got them in the little loose parts. I'm just making myself some oats for breakfast. It was very hard to resist the McDonald's pancakes, hotcakes, but I'm home and I'm going to make myself some healthy oats. Okay, healthy might have been a stretch, but yum. All right, so it's almost time to go to the hospital. We've got one hour to go. I just packed my bag, my little Louis Vuitton Neverfull, and I've just packed, they told me to pack for the night, um, just in case. So, um, yeah, I mean, fingers crossed that's not necessary, but I've got like spare undies, my glasses case, socks for the post anesthesia shivers, um, my wallet, and that's pretty much it, phone charger. I'm putting my good vibes into the universe by not packing my toothbrush, because then hopefully I'll be home to use it. Fingers crossed. Now we're just going to take a couple of before pictures with some of my tops so we can compare um, so we're just going to figure out to do that now. And this is my sleeping situation already for when we get home. So I just have a U pillow that I got from Target, um, which most people recommend. And I also got this like bed back rest thing. Um, even if I don't sleep with it, I'll probably use it on the couch. It's from Spotlight. Um, but I think ideally it'd be pretty good to use to sleep at night too, because I am a toss and turner. So hopefully both of those combined will stop me from going on my side. Hi, I can't see you guys because my glasses are off. Jasper's just cleaning them, but I've just arrived at the hospital. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I love you. So I've just said goodbye to Natasha. She's just walked out over there and I'm really nervous about this, to be completely honest. Um, but hopefully she'll be all right. I mean, she's, she's in the best hands, but I miss her already. Love you, Tash. All right, so I've been waiting on the couch for long enough. I think it's time for me to go to the shops and get Tash's food. She's got a nice little list here of things she wants. She wants ham and cheese toasty, spaghetti bolognese, schnitzel wraps, some frozen meals, just, you know, to be quick, protein smoothie, avocado on toast, easy. Easy peasy, we're gonna get that. Um, then we're gonna come back home and I'm gonna get prepped in the cupboard, make sure everything's ready for her. Um, hopefully everything goes all right with the surgery and we'll get a call soon. And here's little Murphy, waiting for his mum. Say hi Murphy. Weather looks good to go to the shops. It's really cloudy. I think it's probably like 10 degrees, so let's see how we go. 
okay so i've been here for about 40 minutes and it's happening so quickly it's i've got this i've ordered my food and i'm gonna go up any second now i'm not sure how long when i'm up it will take to go to the next step but like they've said it's going pretty quickly so shopping's done super intense it was like really busy in there and there was just like so many people around and i kept wondering if maybe i'm forgetting to get something um, got all the food, hopefully, um, and I also got myself a six pack of cinnamon donuts, which I'm going to eat right now, because I got them fresh, got them hot, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll save one for Tash, it's a bit, little bit undecided at this point. No, I'm kidding, Tash, if you're looking at this, I got you two, I got you two donuts, I'm going to eat four. Mm. Here we go, oh, still soft, oh. Mm. Those are phenomenal. It's mm. good. I've never filmed myself before eating or otherwise, but it makes you feel really self-conscious and like, it's really awkward. It's hard to look right into the lens. It's like you want to look at the screen and see what you're doing, but you can't see what you're doing. You have to look right at that lens. Grocery haul. Oh yeah, we'll try it on in a second, see how it all fit. Now we're all packed. I'm going to slice up some bananas for Natasha's smoothies because I'm a really nice husband. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. If you're wondering why it's getting chopped up, it just freezes a little faster. Uh, it also makes it easier to choose a portion size. If you don't want exactly one banana's worth, you can always divide it up a lot more easily. Um, and it also gets blended really easily. To be completely honest though, I'm pretty sure that literally any blender can blend a frozen banana. And that's it, we've got some bananas for my little tash. Cool. Next up, we're going to clean this bathroom because Natasha cleaned the ensuite last night and she asked me to make sure that the main bathroom was clean before she got home. Easy. Just got the best news possible. Natasha's done. She's alive and well. Discharge, 7.30 p.m. That is night time for our American friends. And equally good news, look at the quality of this cleaning job. How about that? Haven't cleaned the walls. Why would I? It'd be really strange. But look at that. Beautiful. Put a little candle on for some nice scent. And uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like I've also missed a call from Natasha. So I'll be calling her back. She's alive. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. How are you going? Yeah, I'm okay. You feeling sleepy? No. Do you feel alive? Do you feel, do your boobs feel huge? They don't feel huge, but they do look pretty big. It's all done. <laughs> I got my dinner, I've got some calamari, a coke, a coffee, my second coffee, and I'm watching Louis Theroux's Joe Exotic Part 1. We're in heaven. Alright, so we've been waiting around for about three or four hours now, and I'm going to go pick up Tash. It's uh, 10 past 7, so 20 minutes, I'm going to go downstairs. She texted me and she said she's been feeling really flustered and hot, so I'm going to go Downstairs, I'm gonna check the storage container and see if we've got a fan for her. All right, so pretty fun situation right now. Just waiting for Tash to get out of the hospital. I have managed to forget the ice pack that she requested at the last minute, so we'll see how that goes. I'm sure she's gonna be absolutely furious at me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait in the car until she comes out. They're gonna shine the uh, camera on her and get her first impressions. Very excited. I've been waiting to see her all day, so this should be good. She'll be coming right out of there. In just a couple of minutes. We got her. Mm -hmm. Look at her, no mask out and about in public. That's I illegal. Know, they forgot to give it to me. That's all right. <laughs> you look a million bucks straight off the runway. Yeah, absolutely. How are you feeling, babe? I feel less than a million bucks. Oh, well, we'll get you comfy in the car. <laughs> Please, you. my lady. I might need some help Oh, you poor thing. Look at her, she's done it. She's got in the car. First time getting in the car. I'm really struggling with the heat. Like yeah. my body keeps getting so hot and sweaty and then I feel like I like pass out for a second and then I'm fine again. So I'm glad it's freezing. Yeah, well you can just go home and get coffee and get your cuddlies on, have a snack. Yeah, sounds good. Did you decide what you want to eat uh, for dinner? I think Macca's. Yeah, do you want to go straight there? 
Yeah. All right, let's do it. So it's like we've come full circle, considering I started my day at Macca's, and now we're getting Macca's for dinner. Um, I'm getting chicken nuggets and a strawberry shake and fries, obviously, and Jasper's gonna get a um, double McChicken with a chocolate shake. Hell yeah. It's like the perfect opposites attract. Right. Chocolate and strawberry. Students Maybe becomes, like pull it down a teacher. Way. <laughs> pull it all the way down and then pull it back up over my forehead. No, okay. Now you can go like that, yeah, and then put my hair on the outside of it. Put my hair on the outside of it, put my hair on the outside of it. Yeah, no, inside of it, yeah. And then now you pull Sorry, it's been a long time since I've had long hair. <laughs> it's okay, I love you. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. Time for some Mackies. Thanks, Jazz. Classic. And how much are they paying you for this? Uh... Like having a little mini look on, babe. Not really. So when I got there, I got there about one o'clock. I got there on time. I was in my hospital bed by 1.20 and I was up in the surgery room by 1.40 wow. and the surgery was at two o'clock. They ended up, it, they originally, when I was in admission, they were like, oh, your surgery will probably be about three o'clock. And literally, like, it was so quick. I cannot believe it, but it was so good because I didn't have any time to think or stress. I just kind of went with the flow and it was awesome. They put no sauce on. They didn't give me any sauce. Well, I had a fun situation. Yeah, tell This us. is a funny story for the audience. So, you guys know that the last time I spoke to you basically was in the car saying I was waiting for Tash to come out of the entrance. So mm. immediately after I filmed that part, Tash texted me and told me to come up and get her. So I thought, okay, brilliant. I'll come up the ramp, I'll film me walking up and walking into the entrance. But there was an old lady in a wheelchair at the entrance with one of the, um, with one of the medical staff assisting. So I decided to stop filming like before I even really got there and I didn't want to, you know, film them without their permission or anything. And then I get to the top and I'm looking about the entrance and I look over and, and the old lady goes, hey, handsome. <laughs> but it was just Ash. It was just Ash and she looked really bad. <laughs> we got a treat. Oh, yum. Do you want one? No, I've already had four. <laughs> Thank you. Love you, honey. Murphy. They're not for puppies. Not for puppies. It's not for puppies. You want it? All right, so we're looking really cute and getting ready for our first sleep with the new plants. How are we feeling? <laughs> you look Good. incredible. Thank you. You look healthy. You don't look pink at all. <laughs> I can shower tomorrow, so. Yay. <laughs> Feels pretty bad, <laughs> but we'll get through. Well, we're gonna go to sleep now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Good morning. It's day one post-op, so the next morning. And I actually had a really good night's sleep. I mastered my sleeping situation, which was amazing. Um, and I woke up religiously like every two hours when I needed my pain meds and um, then I would take them and just go straight back to sleep, which is so good. Jasper obviously had a bad night of sleep because he had to give me my pain meds. And um, so I don't think he's coping. I really need a coffee and um, I don't think he's in a position to get me one. So I'm, it's only a couple meters across the road. I'm gonna try and walk across the road and get coffee. Hey guys. It's 11.30 um, day one still, um, sorry if my glasses are glaring, um, they're just cheaper so I didn't get that anti-glare stuff, but uh, anyway, um, and pretty much all I've done today so far is sit in bed and um, like I did some online shopping except um, I would not recommend doing that on Endone because I accidentally bought stuff that I didn't mean to buy like I thought I was just like checking like discounts and stuff and then realizing that the payments had gone through even like I wasn't really prepared to buy them yet and then I overdrew my account so 
we love that for me but honestly at the moment i feel okay i've been on top of all my pain meds um really well jasper's been doing a really good job at that i will say the hardest thing right now is like how dirty i feel and it's so uncomfortable hey my baby just move um like i'm not sure if you guys know but like you know that itchy gross cluggy feeling you have when you like wear underwear or bras for too long like i kind of have that with this surgical bra but i don't have anything else to swap it to because we're in lockdown i wanted to get some from kmart but the click and clicks kept saying that it like not working properly when i tried to do it and um yes yeah, so i can't just like get them so i i would kill right now to change this bra into a clean one because it's really like it's making my entire body feel gross and like itchy but i can't itch because i've got tape and stuff everywhere and so that's really frustrating me if anything that's the worst bit so far i would really give anything for a different bra right now just so i didn't feel dirty i was just having a shower now and my mum is coming down later this afternoon to help take care of me because it's um i actually can do a lot less than i thought i could so i know we're in lockdown at the moment please don't come at me she is fully allowed to be here she has an exemption everything is completely safe and okay um but yeah it's a bit more than probably jasper can do um as well as looking after like we've got this dog who is a lot of effort uh, as he literally needs attention all the time um so it's getting really hard to tackle making sure he's not jumping up on me i can't push him away or anything um so if jasper's like getting my medicine and he starts jumping on me i'm just like stuck so we just kind of need an extra set of hands um i've seen vlogs and stuff and know of people who've like done this themselves in like hotels and stuff or like even just with one person and like credit to them because this is a lot harder than i thought it was going to be because it's really the little things that are the hardest like for example the postie came earlier and jasper like went out to meet him but he'd already shut the door so jasper had to like open the door and follow the postie and locked himself out but then like i had to let him back in but my, it was too hard to open the lock. So it literally was like the most painful thing because inevitably I had to open the lock and it was just so, so painful. And like, like there was no way of avoiding that. So yeah, it's just the little things that are really, that I just didn't think about. Pain is okay. <laughs> Pain is okay. It's literally not being able to do anything. Tash is here, day one. And my best friend's boyfriend just bought me around a coffee and a peanut butter cookie, so I'm feeling the love. Um, yeah, but it sucks. Yeah, and everything's just kind of been dumped out on the bench, hasn't really been cleaned up yet. But yeah. and every, it's good because the bench is kind of like arm level, so I don't actually, it's easy for me to just pick it up and stuff because I can't really move. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's not worry about it. So what do we got here? My coffee. Mm-hmm. Which is? An oat milk cappuccino, but it is perfection. Like, this is one of the best coffees I've ever had. Yeah. I don't know if I'm just like desperate or if it's actually really good. Sorry about the ruffling paper. Ah, baby! And a peanut butter cookie, which are my babies at the moment. Yay. Oh, no. It's fine. No, it's not ending well. It's the day, morning of day two post-op and I've just woken up in like a pool of my own sweat. So that's great. I'm not sure why, but I'll keep you updated. Ooh, so we just had our first shower session, which is really fun. Got Tash nice and clean, but certainly it's gonna be really hard to like we cannot use the test footage. How are we feeling after our first shower? Heaps better. Very clean. 
very not sweaty anymore. Very happy, thanks Jess. You're welcome. We've got Michelle's bed here. Michelle, how was the bed last night? It, the bed was fine. Yeah, the bed was she fine. didn't sleep well. I didn't sleep well. Oh. That's okay. Hello, so I'm filming this on my phone. I'm so sorry, but um, my memory card is having issues. Um, but we've just achieved day three post-op, which is meant to be the worst, so I've heard. Um, I'm actually feeling okay, so fingers crossed we've gotten past the worst of it. Um, I'm going back to work tomorrow, so really hope that it doesn't catch up on me then but just before i go to bed i thought i would show you how i have to sleep at night good night i'll be sleeping upright like this tonight <laughs> i just got the cutest delivery from one of my friends it's from um relax and recover i literally am obsessed with this neck pillow it's, look this has a whole pillow and a pillowcase which is incredible it has these they're obviously not frozen yet but they're ice packs that are pretty shaped i love that the ample uh laxatives which i promise you are so necessary i got a hair mask which i'm going to do immediately a face and chest mask and this adorable little note to dear tash i hope this helps make your recovery a bit more comfortable can't wait to meet the new tartars lots of love nick it's so nice i'm so 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 happy and i definitely needed the extra love today so that's just perfect Hello everyone, excuse the um, sheet hanging off the bathroom door, but it's currently day seven post-op and um, I'm so sorry, I didn't really get to film much of the recovery for you guys because um, my camera was not working and I was not in a physical, mental, emotional state to fix it because I was in so much pain and I can't really do anything. Um, and I actually recorded on my phone on like day four or five or something. That would have been day four. Me being like, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because there's not much to see. All I've done is sit on the couch and that kind of feel fine. Um, I actually might insert that here just to prove you. I think I'm going to wrap the video up here just because fortunately for me, my recovery has been pretty easy. Fortunately for me, my recovery's been pretty easy. Hey, my recovery's been pretty easy. Okay, but then day five came. <laughs> day five was the worst. It was awful. I could not stand it. I was in so much pain. Mostly here on this breast, and this is still where it hurt. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it was bad. And then. On the night of day five, we went out with our friends to a bar and I thought I'd be okay because we're all seated because we've just come out of lockdown so we couldn't be standing up and stuff. So I was going to be sitting most of the night. Um, but I think it I made it worse. Even just from like hugging people like that I haven't seen in a while because you just instinctively get a hug and these muscles here are like so sore. So that was awful. So yesterday was really bad. And I was really nauseous and had like diarrhea, vomiting, migraine all day yesterday. I have no idea if it's related. Um, I kind of assume so. I'm assuming it's either like withdrawals from the opioids or whatever they're called, the strong medications, or from the anesthetic maybe. Also, heads up on Friday when I was at the pub, I was not drinking. I don't drink, so I was not drinking. Um, I literally just had Pepsi Max. So, because you shouldn't be drinking one week post-op anyway. But now we're day seven. I slept at like seven o'clock last night. Now we're day seven. Felt pretty bad this morning, but feeling better tonight. Anyway, I'm sorry about my curly hair and my glare off my glasses. Um, but this is the reality of it. So, um, yeah, basically it's been really tough the past couple of days. Um, the first, like, couple, the first few days, like days one through four I literally just sat on the couch took my medication and watched television like that's all I did and it was like fine I would say it like was not bad and I would do it again any day um and then like yeah the past couple of days have been really bad it's just more like m muscle pain but it's like so uncomfortable and um yeah I don't know it just sucks I think the worst part about the whole thing is I can't do literally anything. I feel so incapable of doing anything. Um, 
I feel so dirty from the post-op bra. It's just like I still haven't been able to change it. I have an appointment tomorrow morning to get fitted for another one. So I've been counting down for that. I'm so excited. Um, and then not being able to do my hair. I feel like if you are someone like me who gets breast implants, like I got them for the aesthetic purposes um, because I care about how I look. So not being able to look good for a whole week i'm so pale my hair is like this i can barely see i can't do it like all those things are like contributing really badly to like the recovery in terms of my mental health and also because the boobs don't look nice yet which i knew but like i don't think you can really be prepared for that so i feel like i look awful and it's not like who i want to be and i know it's temporary but it's like very very tough um to go through that it's very confronting so tomorrow morning i'm gonna try and um wash my hair which i'm excited for because i haven't been able to do that yet i'm feeling like this uh, this afternoon's been a bit better so i'm gonna try and tackle that um and of course i think i've gotten retinol burn on my neck which sucks but anyway um it's just adding to it all so we're eight days post-op i had my first post-op su surgery appointment um. <laughs> it doesn't actually seem to be very helpful. That's good. Um, I had my first post-op surgery um, appointment today, which was good. I finally got a new bra, which I'm so excited about because it was feeling very dirty. Um, and they said everything is tracking along as perfect as they would expect. So. I'm super happy with that. My incisions haven't really started to hurt at all, which is great. Um, they said they probably won't if they haven't already, which is really good. They changed my dressings, except they've put one of them on like a little bit uneven, so now the stick is itchy. So yeah, I don't really have much else to report. So I thought I would just wrap up this video by saying the worst parts about the recovery so far. Um, I even was talking to the surgeon and the nurse today and they were like, it's so funny, like you'll see all the things on the internet being like, oh, you know, my recovery was actually really fine. But they're the same people that like spend days crying because it actually is not very fine. I mean, ask Jasper, it's eight days and today was the first day that I ever showered myself. Has it been fun, babe? It's been really, really hard. Um, yeah, I feel really overwhelmed. Cause I'm still working 40 hours. Yeah. So it is really tough. Um, House is a mess. I haven't worked out once in the last like, the entire time you've been recovering. You had to put my tampons in for me. Like that's that's kind of fun. That's like easy to do though. What a good man. But it's like that kind of thing you just don't think about. So if you are planning on having surgery, um, I think you need to have someone with you for like at least two weeks because even still I like can't do stuff and. Like, I won't be able to start. So, yeah, it's been shit. The worst parts are feeling dirty, not being able to do anything, um, not being able to get comfortable, not being able to sleep comfortably, being in pain. And also, like, because I went under the muscle as well, like, my muscle is recovering from being cut into. And, like, you don't realise, like, even just, like, opening a car door or like opening a fridge or pulling up your pants or pulling down your pants like you can't do that so it kind of yeah sucks a lot i'm so glad i got it done um but i reckon it's around six to eight week mark i'll do like a q a video so if you guys have any questions you can leave them below but other than that thank you so much for coming on this journey with me and please don't forget to like and subscribe this video thanks <laughs>